something occurred to me and I just want to share it with you guys. So the other day, my kids were watching Napoleon Dynamite for like the millionth time. And we were sitting there and we were watching and we were, you know, repeating the dialogue, making fun of the characters. My oldest was talking about that Napoleon and Pedro were mouth breathers for whatever that means. But I asked a question and I'm going to ask you guys this. Who was the hero of the film? La Fonda. And let me tell you why. When everybody else was going through their things, Napoleon, his grandmother wasn't there. He had his Uncle Rico, who was just a menace. You know, he was dealing with Tina. And then he was trying to help his boy, you know, with uh, the run for high school president. And it just didn't seem like things were going well until La Fonda got on the scene. When La Fonda got on the scene, not only did she fix her man up. Yeah, you know, Kip, he was a little square, you know, but she gave him a little do-rag and she put a chain on him. You know, she... She made her man, you know, look better. So she got her man together. Then she helped Napoleon. How did she help Napoleon save the day? She gave him the, that Jamiroquai tape. And because of that, he was able to secure the presidency, win it for Pedro, get his girl at the end, and then Uncle Rico left and got his girl back. So LaFonda save the day she's the true hero of napoleon dynamite now my oldest daughter she's all like oh you know well they kind of uh perpetuate that whole magical negro kind of trope that american films do well yeah i guess in a way but lafonda she's a king builder so my my word for you is be more like lafonda be a king builder. She came out. She was classy. She didn't show her chest, her boobs. She wasn't naked. She was very classy, very feminine. And she came through like the magical Negro that she was. And so I appreciate that. But she's the true hero of Napoleon Dynamite.